Hello everyone, my name is Romat and today we're going to do a Tulia mid guide on Flex on Rob West in which we'll discuss about the most basic thing about playing Tulia. Maybe this will be a more beginnerish guide, but I guess I will talk about how to survive how to survive in general in lane, how to play the most maybe defensive or the whew, safest way to play Tulia, I might add. Okay, I am going in. Let's go. I don't care, I'm going. I'm going. I don't care. Is there a f Blitzcrank flash? Do we get that? Come on, dude. Come on, flash it. Come on, that's a man. That's a man right there. <laughs> Alright, so no flash on bot lane, because you me. <laughs> Alright, so, the most defensive way of playing Talia. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, in general, when you start learning Talia, or even after you know how to play her, the best way to do so is by not dying a lot. And as we know, the current meta in solo queue, every single time there are assassins or champions that can burst you down easily, or you get ganked by the enemy, and so on, and so you will most likely die. And when you die, even if you have advantage or not, you tend to be set back off way too greatly for you to come back and that will also set you off by experience, yes, and other ways. So, I want today to talk about how to generally play this champion safer and I will go over, obviously over the runes and builds and stuff like that. And I am playing against Karma, I really thought I was against Yasuo and Karma was top, but who knows man, who knows. So, generally, the first thing, the first defensive thing you can do and every Tulia main does is in champ select when you ban something like Zed, Katarina or Fizz, which I believe are the most annoying champions to play against, especially as Tulia. Not if you're Pantheon though, Pantheon loves them. Or Nocturne maybe. But in general, you'd want to ban one of those and then that's the first thing you do. Uh, and then if you are somehow against them, you might want to pick something like Merc Treads, Banshees, against Zed and Fizz, Stopwatch maybe, Armor against Zed, maybe Seeker's Arm Guard and stuff like that. Also, as you can see, I'm not really focusing on fighting because I really want to talk about this idea and also Shaco comes. So I'm just gonna go around here and now we're just gonna jump on her. And I'm gonna do a full combo and she didn't flash and we got the kill easily. Normally a good player would have flashed here, but as you can see I waited for the for the slow from Shaco and also I baited by going to the other side, which is a very important thing to do, and especially at lower levels, because people don't really expect this bait. So I'm just gonna cast this and gonna just do a small Q here. Ah, actually I'm gonna auto-attack them. Alright, so we push them into the tower and we won't recall yet, we want to recall when we have our first item which we will talk about still. I'm going to start talking about runes so that I don't bore you. Electrocute, Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Presence of Mind, Cup Grace and this rune stats. I have armor because I thought I was against Yasuo. Also, I am going for the GLP route which is the most basic but we will discuss in depth everything else. So, um, after you do the champ select phase, generally you will have a choice of summoner spell which is sometimes ignite most of the time actually and in the rest you could probably go something like cleanse against zoe or ahri or barrier maybe if you are a beginner but generally i say to play with ignite because Talia lacks damage and if you don't one shot the person with your full burst you will most likely not be that useful so in order to one shot someone you're probably going to need ignite and that will secure you way more uh, stuff now if you are however if you are having huge damage dealers in your team i don't know hyper carries or stuff like that and you don't think you need necessarily that much damage well then you could probably get away with some more defensive rune or if you think you're against an assassin and you're going to feed then yes you can go for exhaust you can go for barrier you can go for cleanse depending on needs that's the second choice you make the third choice you make is the runes and the rune page and that was a nice escape, but he's still dead. The rune page generally will go again for electrocute because we would probably want something like extra damage, but other options include going for dark harvest or a more defensive way like going for uh, face rush. I do not include here things like summoner spellbook or glacial augment because I believe they are way too weak on Talia. Other keystones probably are troll, such as maybe Eerie, which I played with in the past, uh, and maybe Comet, which I also played with in the past. So I believe the best in slot is Electrocute and Dark Harvest, depending on how much you fight and on the roll. And then Phase Rush could also work. As you can see, I farmed a lot. I don't necessarily try to force stuff. And an important thing that you could do 
is to uh, try to fight this enemy when you can, but in general you could probably roam. Tilia is not, as I generally say, that good everywhere, anywhere, and I know she did not flash. So I could just do this. Okay, I got her. Gonna ignite, but I would really love if you could pass the kill if I use ignite. Okay, I'm getting jumped on by that guy. I'm gonna cast the Q. I'm gonna cast an E, I'm gonna push it, two easy kills, and small Q here, actually big Q, Ooh, didn't thought I was not on that. Uh, but generally, you can't really just AFK farm on Talia, you can't really just do that, because other champions will outscale you, but in most matchups you have to. If they are assassins matchups, you have to be defensive sometimes, you have to uh, pass CS, you have to be smart about things. But generally you'd want to roam because Tilia is a roamer, roaming champion, but you still Twisted Fate and Galio do your job much more better because you have mana issues. Now, as I said, if you want to play defensive, you can go for face rush and that's kind of eh, because if you don't proc it, you're still gonna die and you're not going to have enough damage in fights with Electrocute and 2 versus 2 uh, with your jungler will lack damage sometimes and that will be a problem. So, then again, you gotta, you gotta calculate your odds. Now, for items, I generally start with Ring and 2 Potions. Some players go for Corrupting, some players don't. Uh, most players buy vision words and you should as often as you can as you can see I have it in my back pocket But it's generally required to put it down before the enemy sees you have it so that you don't basically tell way I'm going there to put that vision word like I'm doing now and this is not a good thing to do Well, she doesn't really know where I'm going to put it But most likely she thinks it's here and it's this is a good spot to do so now We're feeding Shaco and we're farming pretty well. We're not roaming yet because we don't have to and we could roam now we could roam now because this is an opening for a bot gang and we could move there. This is a free kill on Nunu, should be, again, easy kill, probably just an easy dive here as well. Just waiting for the, okay. Okay. And we got another kill there. We're going now to help Shaco and we back off. Now, for itemization, as I said, you can start with ring or corrupting. That's up to you and your playstyle. But with ring, you'll have more auto attack damage, as you can see from this passive. Then you're kind of mandatory have to go for Lost Chapter. You can go for Seeker Androgard against Assassins, against Zed, against AD. But generally, you'll be forced into a mana item because Talia lacks that part of, uh, you know, because if you don't get kills with Presence of Mind, if you don't play with mana flow as secondary, uh, you're going to struggle. Now, the important stuff, as I said, is to go for that item, then move it towards GLP, or if you're extremely good at hitting your combo into Ludens. Some players go for Archangel or other stuff. I do not really like it, even though you have mana. Uh, I think GLP is the safest choice in most cases, because the slow will actually set you up for easy combos. And this is a free, free... Uh, plate right here I want to take it without going too close to the tower then I want to move towards top put the word here I've also covered the bottom side with the vision word so we see Nunu if he comes and so after getting GLP we could think of something like did she really clear that word we could think of something like sork shoes or merc treads or defensive items because if you're against Diana, we need Merc Treads. If you're against the Katarina, we need maybe Banshees. Or against an AP jungler and the mid AP. In this case, I will go for Sorceress because these two champions don't have the burst necessary to run me down. And I, if I position properly, I can just back off and escape. Now, I want, I have vision around here. I want to get this, hopefully. I don't see Nono. Hopefully, we get this before he comes. If he comes, I will just flash out towards the Drake. And that would be okay to me, too. Okay, we don't have vision on Karma, so maybe she's there. Also, we got the Drake, which is fine. And yeah, we see Karma on top. We now have to counter Rom towards there. And Shaco is okay, should be. Gonna save him here if I can. Not really. That's an ult. We could probably do more here. We could probably do much more here, as you can see. No, we're not reaching that. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. As you can see, I'm not forcing stuff if it's not necessary. I didn't dive on bot at that point because it wasn't absolutely not necessary to die. I just waited. I did my part. I just came after that. Cannon did a bit of late ult, but it's fine. 
We still got the kill. Shaco died, but it's irrelevant. I see that vision word. But first and most importantly, I want to get another plate. Obviously, you go for Sorcturus if you don't need Mercurus, but you could go for Defensive Boots in most cases. But then again, if you go for Face Rush and the Defensive Summoner spell and Defensive items in terms of Boots, you will not deal that much damage and Tulia sucks without dealing damage. Without having the Burst required, you are basically sucking. Because you need that damage, right? Okay. Uh, okay, we, we kind of... Come on, come on. We kind of are able now to... Never mind. Man, 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 back off. Ah, uh, can't follow though. Because there is a no-no that will come in my way. But she's missing CS again. You can see my perfect farming-ish. Haven't even went back yet. I know they are coming towards me now. So I'm just gonna do a full combo on this. I'm... Okay, never mind. Nunu went back into his jungle, so I don't need to stress anymore. I could just throw a Q and get this cannon here with a small Q. And then another Q there. 10 CS per minute almost. That's insane. Also, I have a bounty, 1104. Lots of kill participation, so this is going great in my favor. As you can see, Karma isn't really a hard matchup. So this might not be the best example, but then again, this video is not about that. It's about how to generally play Talia. Two vision words, because it's required. We can now just jump on top of her, use GLP, ignite, and kill her instantly if she doesn't have flash. That would be a strategy. Now, they caught Xayah, and wow, she really flashed on top of... We also positioned the wave perfectly in terms of not really missing any CS here which is amazing, this is pretty much a perfect game. Now for the build, as I said, you go GLP, you go Sword Shoes, then you might think, okay, Orb, Rabadon, stuff like that. But if you are against an Assassin and you are having a bounty, it's most recommended to get a defensive item, because if you are passing that bounty, well, generally, if you think about it, against champions like Katarina, you might not even lose early, you might even do fine, with, you might even roam, stuff like that. And that will be good until the point then when Katarina decides to go full animalistic on you, okay. And then she will turn around with an ult with a combo, maybe she gets a roam, and she gets fed regardless at some point. Which means... Okay, I think... No, no, it's not. Which means, in fact, that you have to play defensively at some point because she gets strong. Even if you 0-5, that's the sad part, the Fizz or a Katarina can actually kill you, even a Z. And that's if you don't have level huge level advantage or if you don't have a defensive item. So normally if you have a bounty on your head and you are against an assassin, you'd want to maximize that. You'd want to maximize that because if they get a kill on you, well, good luck with that, mate. Also, I'm farming so nicely this game. Don't know what's wrong with me. 10 CS per minute almost. Maybe get another plate here, but I doubt so just gonna back off. I think I could do a wrong bot here. And I still have my vision over there. I don't really have much mana, but I have just enough mana. <laughs> Poor guy, man. Poor freaking guy. <laughs> I, <laughs> I ate the cat. <laughs> Uh, okay, I know what you're gonna say. I know what, what joke you're gonna say. I'm not gonna say it. This is a mature and friendly audience. We're not gonna say that. I, I'm not... Nope. Stop thinking about it. Nope. Oh boy. We don't like this guy. This guy is dangerous to us. Uh, okay. I mean... Yeah, sure. We could murder him. Why not? Okay. Now it's free. Where are you going, buddy? You're up to death. You're gonna die. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Oh. Then we get this blue buff and we're fine. This is pretty much a perfect game for me. Can I have it, please? Thank you. And again, after you get those defensive items, if especially if you're against assassins, then you might want to think about do I need Morelonomicon or not? I can't even pronounce it. Morelonomicon, that's the word. If you do, like is this case, if they have heals, like if they have a Nunu Karma, freaking Yumi, Soraka, stuff like that, then you might want it. And so you go straight into Orb into Morelonomicon. If not necessarily, 
you could think of a Rabadons for the instant burst and you could I don't know scale from there you can think about zonias and stuff like that i really love zonia i really love banshees but then again these items might set you back okay we make her lose some stuff oh uh, freaking uh, might die here if they if they flashed i would have died and the perfect thing would have been gone oh man really my cs perfection goes away I don't care, I'm gonna keep the CS perfection going walls and rights, I don't care. Might even go top 10, but then I might die to the Yasuo. So just let me farm. Let me just heal off a bit of this. We see Shaco, and we see the farm on top. If you are careful to the dive, we can actually kill him. I don't see him here, I think he backed off. So we can just keep safely farming, and we could also get this. I'm gonna cast here this. Healing up, I'm gonna put a vision over here because I don't want to get trolled by the Yasuo. I have ult, but I need to be careful to the Yasuo, so I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna cast the uh, item if he wants to do something, the GLP. Now, again, the discussion. Why don't you go Zonia faster? Well, the only thing you can do is go for stopwatch faster. Why don't you go Banshees for item? Well, because you lose a lot on the damage. The damage is the focus. You can't miss Orb or Rabadons from your build. I think both of them are quite mandatory. I'm not sure here, Q. So if you think about it, you kind of have to, because you're going to miss a lot of damage. Oh boy, I think I just trolled. Okay, never mind. I'm fine. I'm fine. No. Okay, he missed Q. Never mind. <laughs> he missed Q. <laughs> he missed that Q there. Anyway, I have 10 CS per minute. Pretty much perfect score. And now we're going back. We're going for the ore, but they will probably surrender. But I think this is the basics that you need to know. Okay, as I said. Yeah, this and you can see I want to buy vision wards every single time because enhancing this vision will actually put you further away and make you stronger and stronger by conquering this vision and vision is one of the most important factors as I like to say often the more you climb the ladder the more you need it and it can save your life it can also generate lots of combos if you put a vision word here for example here example vision word here simple word here just wait kill the player and stuff like that that's what you gotta do that's what you gotta do that's not necessarily a basic thing that's an important thing Well, I suppose Monogot disappeared and we got another kill there. Pretty simple, but quite powerful. This is a pretty simple spell, but quite unbreakable. How was the quote from Avengers <laughs> from that movie? All right, so we finished the game now, but we are playing out of our minds, considering the farm and the gangs from Shaco. We set it up nicely. We got advantage. We played well. We don't have chances of losing this unless I'm screwing up majorly and stuff like that. Now, we talked about runes, we talked about summoner spells, we talked about builds, we talked about picks and bans, and we talked generally about champion matchups. Let's discuss that a bit more. I'm thinking that you could do fine in most matchups if you are playing based on the rules. If you are inting an assassin or a mage, such as Ahri or Zed or Diana or... LeBlanc. If you are inting them, then most likely it's a problem on your part as well, or you're against a Smurfer who highly, highly outmatched you, and well, it's not much to do about that. But if you're against a, your ELO player and you are inting them, then that's completely on your part for not listening or practicing enough, for not watching the videos or challenger players. I'm not even a challenger, I'm Grandmaster somewhere there. But then again, the advice is pretty standard for all ELOs, and I'm trying to teach you exactly at any elo obviously lower than mine of what to do I generally you can think of these things and then you can see what goes wrong i advise for you to stay in practice tool and see what you're doing wrong uh, practice the combo sorry and then use the replay tool and see what you're doing wrong and whenever you die to something whenever you die to a gank well you could simply just wait I'm just gonna roll in wow i kind of forgot about that so the best way honestly to climb bestelia is to find a duo partner that plays a champion with a point and click stun 
uh, or you can do mid jungle you can do jungle top you can do jungle support the combinations on Talia so you play jungle Talia and your duo plays top or mid or support you can play mid Talia and your duo plays jungle you can play bot Talia and your duo plays support or the reverse is also true and then you want to have that CC spell ready you want to think about when the enemy jungler will gank you and you want to win from that point that's these are some basic steps you're not really having issues if you're following them and you can easily climb if you follow these steps i last uh, last season if i recall correctly i duelled with a ramos on mid i was the mid laner and he was the jungler obviously and he just came mid from an angle that it's impossible to escape from and we either got flash or a full combo and a kill it's stupid but it's it works it's very stupid but it works and you should try stuff like that if you're feeling like you're struggling or if you're feeling like you're stuck if you're playing to Leah jungle i suppose she's kind of hard right now and that's quite difficult to climb and to get advantage i put the vision word for absolutely no reason here because already he cast it but that's just my advice maybe you are doing fine solo maybe you are grinding out maybe you're just having a bad week or a good week and if you keep practicing and trying and watching videos not necessarily this one or my videos you can get away with a lot of stuff i vouch for example i if if you were to learn macro for example i don't even say watch my video i say watch dopa's videos i watch i watch them regularly and i believe it's you gain a lot of knowledge from his uh, macro knowledge he doesn't even play champions like Talia. Maybe she, he plays a lot of Twisted Fate, which again is quite similar and quite is working similarly to Talia in terms of roms, but not quite the same thing because of the point click stun. All right, why am I shoving mid like I should go top? I was talking here. Okay, I have a lot of gold again, a lot of farm. I am if I don't get uh, I don't get MVP on my OPGG, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> but probably Shaco is gonna get it sincerely. Right, so we have here an engage. Oh boy. Okay, that, that, <laughs> that was the Yumi as well. <laughs> really did not follow that. Alright, we could throw here an alt. Full combo. Oh boy. I threw the W, but it did not cast. <laughs> That's my bad. I really pressed it, I swear. I probably pressed it outside of the range. That was a good combo, but well, oh my god, the damage. Now, if you see in LPL, for example, I've seen some infographic or some post. This champion, Karma, actually works because of the ADC meta that's like Ash, and you kind of like we kind of like it because it's so strong. But in solo queue, I don't think it works that good. In solo queue, I think Galio is a better option, which is in LPL as well into maybe some jungler like Olaf, into maybe some support that's either Lulu or an engaged support, maybe even Soraka, I don't know, as a defensive support. But there are lots of ideas, and the good thing about Galio and Karma is that Talia does this decent against them, and this guy gets hooked so often, man. Holy. I guess this is the game, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you get some tips from these videos. I really hope you... Don't just watch them for no reason and try to integrate them, the tips and the advice into your videos, into your <laughs> videos or into your games. Because uh, if you're watching just without improving over time as a Talia main, it's either the fact that you need, you don't practice well, you don't integrate what I say, or you don't play enough, or maybe the champion is not for you. Although this champion is not for many people because she has one of the lowest play rates. That's a possibility too. So if you're feeling like you're struggling, if you have 50% win and you're not climbing, you gotta change something. Because 50% is pretty much average unless you're a challenger, right? And we gotta climb out of that. We gotta climb up and we gotta see how we can do better on this champion. So find your problems with OPGG, with replace. Maybe play with a duo, a better player than you. If he sees you performing well in solo queue, you can snatch that player or even if you can snatch a smurfer that he sees you play well smurfers generally duo with you if you play well if they don't have a duo already or they might want to solo queue it i don't know but you can find these ways you can even practice daily farming into the practice tool you can practice daily combos into the practice tool i i want to for example i want to shoot better at valorant well i just go there into the practice tool 
and I shoot better. I do that daily if I have to, and I'm learning how to play better. These are all the steps that you got to do. These are all the basics. I don't think I know anything else about this for the basic part. So this is the guidance. See you next time, guys. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.